I am a mad fan of everything and anything to do with India. I have had the pleasure of being there nine times in my life uh, for work, for pleasure, and also for school when I was a little boy. So today what I want to cook is one of my favorite all-time Indian dishes and unlike so much Indian food, it's not immensely time consuming and doesn't require 600 ingredients. It is a chicken biryani. It is basically braised chicken in rice in a pot. But instead of using white rice today, I'm gonna to use Canadian barley. The reason why is that I want that well, unlike white rice, barley will bring some flavor of its own. It brings a gorgeous kind of nuttiness and a smokiness to this dish. But also, in a, in a braised dish like this where I'm cooking it for a long time, I don't want that grain to turn to mush. And barley won't do that. It will take on all the flavor, but it will still remain as individual grains when I serve it on the table. Let me show you what I mean. I'm adding a splash of olive oil to an oven-proof pan, and I'm gonna season my chicken thighs with salt and pepper and add them skin side down once that pan is hot. You don't wanna move them around too much. Let that skin get a nice golden sear on it so it doesn't stick. Turn them over, get them brown on the other side, and then I'm gonna remove them from the pan. Next up, I'm gonna add my chopped onions and chili flakes. You want those onions to really brown off and go crispy. Then I'm adding my tomato paste. Let that cook off for a few seconds as well. And then add your stock. I'm using chicken stock. You can use any stock you like. And be sure to scrape the bottom with a wooden spoon because there's a lot of flavor stuck at the bottom of that pan. I'm adding my barley. Place your chicken thighs back into the pot. Fresh thyme. Lid on into the oven at about 350 for 40 minutes. All the flavors from that braised chicken, those heavily caramelized onions, the thyme, the tomato paste, the chicken stock, has all been sucked up by that barley. And the barley's bought a flavor of its own as well. It's amazing how you swap out one thing, rice for barley, and it changes the dish so much, but so much for the better with a much more interesting texture and much more interesting flavor. I would love your take or your opinion on this dish, please give it a shot and uh, give me your thoughts and hopefully I'll see you soon.